name is Ted Smith, and today's video is on Chapter 1 on the Ancient History of Cannabis. I'll be talking about Jesus and the anointing oil. And this is a series of videos about the Hempology 101 textbook I've written. You can buy the book going at the Hempology store through hempology.ca or otherwise our YouTube channel is going to have a series of these videos again on the history of cannabis. But today's topic is on Jesus. And as I've discussed before, I don't want to get into it, but the uh, ancient anointing oil uh, of the Hebrews and that Moses used and, and that was used by the priests during the time of Jesus um, had cannabis in it. And as such, and I'll discuss this further in the chapter on medical uses, um, the use of cannabis topically has got a wide range of medical benefits. And its use psychoactively might be somewhat minimal, honestly, compared to the medical benefits of using it. Um, for one, cannabis is a muscle relaxant when you um, absorb it uh, through the skin, and therefore it would make you feel more relaxed right away, whether you've consumed it in any other means or not. But it's also antibiotic, antifungal, anti-carcinogenic, antioxidant. Um, it's a, a painkiller. It has a number of different properties, and it kills most skin infections and diseases. And uh, it, you know, helps fight infections and open sores as well. And during the time of Jesus, um, there were a lot of problems with things. At times, if you got cut and infected, it could kill you. You may lose part of your arm for that. And they didn't have, um, I guess, terms for all of these different problems. They just generically referred to it all as leprosy. You know, basically any kind of skin problem um, was referred to uh, as such. And so um, it's uh, very much the case that when Jesus went around and used this uh, oil uh, healing the, the lepers, um, there was a definite benefit that was uh, obvious to, to everyone. And so the reason that it was such a, a big deal was because, you know, and I'll get into this more in the chapter of Prohibition, but that anointing oil wasn't supposed to be used by everybody. It was being kept by the priests and used, you know, in the temples by the priests. And Jesus broke some taboos. It was one of a few things that he did that upset the priesthood at the time, which is why the, the, you know, the, the, the Jews were claimed to have been upset about him was because he was taking their... You know, sacred anointing oil and sharing it with the lepers and, and healing them and uh, in, in some twisted way that that was wrong but you know we can be certain given the, the recipes that were handed down in the Old Testament itself that cannabis was in the anointing oils that was used by Jesus in healing the lepers and that's very well documented in several places in the New Testament. And so uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Again, it's a series of videos on the ancient history of cannabis. Uh, you can find them on the YouTube page or go to hempology.ca where you can find out all sorts of other stuff about what we do. Thanks for watching the video. Again, my name is Ted Smith. Have a great day.